Hey there everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to look at how you should prepare for the physics paper 6 and I'll also share some secret resources that I have been using. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get started. First of all, open your physics syllabus for the 2025 20, year, okay, and go through all the practical assessment, everything under here. So everything written here, all the so over here as it says candidates may be required to do the following so whatever is going to come from your paper six or paper five it will all be from here so make sure that you read through the syllabus very carefully you also have electrical symbols that you may have to use for your paper six or paper five so everything is here just go through it once it will be very helpful moving on first of all i would suggest reading through the save my exam now, I know you may be like, I don't have saved my exams, uh, the membership, it's costly and all that. Just go to incognito and put the save my exams over there. Okay. And since it gives you five free trials, you can just close the window and open it again and you'll restart your trials again. So you can do that. Read through the topics that you find difficult for the paper six. Okay. Go to ChatGPT, ask it, what are some possible topics that I should prepare for? from uh, the syllabus and then go through those syllabus read the notes carefully okay then i would suggest you watch some videos now so uh, you can watch learn today igcse i personally prefer her a lot watch through all her videos then you can watch this v this channel as well watch through all the videos you see over here about paper six and things that can help you most importantly now this is a website of IGCSE resources where you'll find all the resources that you should potentially need. Now you're done with paper four, so you do not need this ones, but you do need these paper six tips and strategies. So come here and go through the whole document once. Then you can also see that there are extra resources given over here. More importantly, see, as you can see, ATP notes, which is alternative to practical and all the other notes are also given over here that you should definitely go through. And you can also go through these notes, Moja, and all of these other ones over here. Just click on them and you'll go to their link and you'll see their notes and resources over there. Okay. Now this. Now, I don't know how many of you know this guy, but he is one of the most helpful person for IGCSE. Go through this notes over here where he, uh, he has done a lot of um, papers. Uh, paper six, the seven mark planning investigation questions. Go through all of them and do this when you're a bit confident with the paper six, okay? Once you are started, like, uh, don't directly try papers on your own. Go through the notes, everything, and then try it, okay? Now, once you're done reading this, come to this one. Now, these are all the commonly repeated questions and things that you should know, okay? Go through it, very important. Now, these are some of the notes I saw, the all tips, of someone who has written their IGCSC and the suggestions and everything they give. I'll put this in the description so you can read through it once as well. Really helpful, okay? Then, Z notes. I would recommend going through the Z notes as well. It's just two pages and you can easily read through it in like 10 minutes and give it proper attention as well because it goes through all of it in very summarized form. Don't completely rely on it, but it's good for the last minute summary that you're going to do. Now this. All investigation questions from 2018 to 2023. I'll give the link to this in the description so you do not need to worry about that. Try going through all of them. Now, I wouldn't suggest you to sit down and solve each one and every one of them, okay? What I would suggest is read through the question, try and solve it in your mind for like two minutes, open the mask scheme, look at the answer and move ahead. That is the only way you can probably go through all of them in uh, time, okay? Now that's for the seven marker question. You also need to focus on the other uh, questions that are there. For the most tricky one for most of the people is the question one. Question one can be kind of unpredictable, but question two and question three are something that you can prepare for because they have a lot of repeated questions. So as you'll be watching through the videos, you'll notice the pattern that's over there and you can follow that and create a list of uh, common questions that you see or the things you find difficult i'll also put other links in the description of this video so everything i'm showing here is in the description so just go through it once and that'll be all okay don't focus too much on only the investigation question please it's only seven marks and you have other 33 marks to cover as well so make sure you go through the and also you can ask ChatGPT to create commonly uh, repeated questions for you so that you can go through them and explanations for each and every one of them That'll be all for this video. I hope it helped and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, tada. Make sure to like, share and subscribe.